thing. Well, this eclipse is bringing up a lot of emotions for everybody, isn't it? And don't you sense that we're being called to transition, to upgrade, to release the old, which is like releasing your old skin, your old persona, the old things that you thought you were, your old programming. Breathe. Give yourself permission to just slow down for this season and go inward. Today I'd like to chat into bread and circuses and the distractions at certain seasons because esoterics know that during an eclipse it affects and pulls the emotions and so it's time to switch things on and then switch things up within. Become a new creation, become a new mindset, become a new program. How many of us were told that we wouldn't amount to anything or we didn't believe in ourselves or you thought that your words weren't worthy of being heard? How many of us have looked in the mirror and carried body language that wasn't confident, that didn't think we'd amount to success? We were okay with the crumbs. Our minds were being governed by other people's opinions. Well, let's look at that from the collective. The old Roman saying, it's written by a poet, give them bread and circuses and they will not revolt. A very famous poem actually during Roman times and I think it still is relevant for today because if you spell news, N, North, E, East, W, West, S South. You are being governed in all directions and being governed means the manipulation of your emotions. Now as sovereignty, one of the things that Spirit's been saying to me for many years now is to release all control and manipulation and I asked which way because control and manipulation ha happens as a two-way street, right? You can be controlling me or manipulating me or what I'm watching on TV can control and manipulate me but I can then be controlling and manipulative so one of the things I challenge you to release during this eclipse is all control and manipulation two ways don't let it in and don't let it out and just sit with that uncomfortable that uncomfortable feeling because I think if you dig in deeply you'll realize that all of us have tried to grip onto control by controlling others somehow and it's been programmed now look at the word entertainment enter is obvious tain being a Latin word that means hold it means to hold tightly actually and meant alluding to mental so we are Think that we're being entertained when we're feeling tired or lethargic. You know, you just want to chill out in front of the TV. You just want to switch the brain off. We say these things as little mantras, right? But realize what's happening with the goddess media. It's ancient stuff. Now, the goddess media was very controlling and manipulative. That's an, a dark feminine energy. You can look up goddess media and just see what you can find there. But this ancient knowledge is still being used by those that are in tune with esoterics of how to control and manipulate your mind. And that happens through the black box, the screen and other, many other fashions. But one of the most hypnotizing things to do is to watch the screen. We just, time just goes so quickly, right? As you're scrolling, scrolling, scrolling on the phone. Where did my time go? I wasn't being intentional with my time. I was just chilling out, zoning out, zoning out, switching off. But even when you're asleep, your mind is so susceptible to being programmed as a subconscious computer bank. It's taking in all the data very efficiently. So I wanna just lean into that, but first I'll speak about the bread. Now, what is bread? Now, old fashioned bread was seen as food or sustenance. We call money bread today. Bread is actually another symbol in esoteric language for currency or exchange. So if I'm giving you the crumbs, you, you will just be content if you're distracted with entertainment. This is the old Roman saying, and it's truth. The truth is right there in your face. You're given the crumbs or maybe you're given a little bit of benefits 
and then you're given some entertainment to keep your mind busy and programmed and you're content but you get to the end of your life and you realize you didn't achieve your dreams you didn't achieve going inward you didn't achieve anything that was connected with your soul purpose actually your life was just whittled away with just those little crumbs I think this is the whole story of um, you know uh, who was dropping the crumbs in that wolf story yeah and they were dropping the crumbs anyway Gretel and Hansel I can't remember anyway you know what I mean um, the grimoire tales and so it's all right smack in front of our faces that distraction keeps you from your own soul agreement distraction keeps you from blossoming into the new you and there's a lot of distraction when you have eclipses on the news by design it's occult because they know they know that and you can research this in history every single collapse of old systems happens during an eclipse season there's an amazing show on netflix that is called the ottomans have a look at that and and the leaders knew that their time was up because of the eclipse season so we've got two eclipse eclipses this month i don't know what's going to happen but i just find it all quite fascinating that we're being heavily manipulated heavily stimulated to manufacture negative emotions because the control of the mental always brings up emotions by design because manipulators know that if they can pull you back into an emotional state that's low that you won't fly that you will manifest chaos for them and it's collective manipulation of energies right it's collective manipulation of humanity that don't know things about manifestation that don't know about their sovereignty that don't know that they co-create with the spirit by the emotions that they're holding now look at the word law law spells wall back to front so you are encaged in all of these laws Australia is one of the biggest lawmakers in the world we have laws for laws for laws for laws and all by design because the people ask for it those people that are content with crumbs so don't blame the system blame the consciousness within the people it's the same thing that happened to Christ it was the people that demanded Caesar crucify Christ right it's the same thing so they just wash their hands and they go the people ask for it but other people awakening in that entertainment distraction control and governing the mind isn't satisfying enough it's not bringing us joy we're waking up to the spell of it all and that the crumbs aren't enough those little bits of money that we get given back maybe you got a bit of a tax return maybe you got some kind of benefits I don't know um, it's not enough because in your sovereignty operating in high vibrational emotions you can not only create health you can create wealth and you can create heaven on earth so I'd like to lean into that today and I want to just give you a few things that I practice to help me hear the spirit and I thought this might help you go inward well child's pose is one that's been really successful for me and I've kind of meditated on it myself I've not read about this anywhere and no I'm not a yogi I just put myself down head on the floor I bow and I've realized that the blood goes to the pineal gland by design just the blood tips down and so I jump into a higher state of consciousness because I'm able to hear the spirit in that pose now sometimes I have a little joke and I say I'm not getting up until I hear and I might be left there for an hour or so but this really works especially at 3 a.m. so at 3 a.m. I don't know if you knew this your body is at its weakest so logic to me would say that if the body is at its weakness I don't identify as my body FYI if you've not if you're new here and you don't know the charts please go and have a look at some of my other videos I identify as the spirit within so if my body's at its weakest at 3 a.m. my spirit would be at its strongest so if you get up at 3 a.m. and if you're not used to being woken yet I get woken automatically but if you're not used to that just set a little alarm or set an intention under your pillow and get up at 3 a.m. and just 
sit quietly in child's pose it opens the hips hips hold fear and blood soul is flooding to your pineal gland you will be activated to hear and don't forget to ask to hear a lot of us if we're used to meditation or praying we're so focused on quieting the monkey mind or listening to our own thoughts that we're not asking the divine to communicate and uh, using free will principles one must be asked or invited to enter entertain enter hold the mind entertainment uh, to go in enter to come in so it's an invite to the divine to come in and talk to my computer bank talk to my supercomputer don't forget to eat clean because the temple needs clean fuel in order when we get clogged up in the bowel it affects the mind and so don't eat shit shit attracts shit lower vibrational feelings attract unhealthy food right when do we feel like junk food it's when we're feeling stressed or overtired or anxious please feel into that if you'd like to learn more about that please jump into my nine weeks to a new you program and we'll go right through all of those attachments and figure out how you can be the best version of you um, I'd like you to also tap into soul family that are ascended and ask for messages and because God is spirit God needs deliverers it God uses messengers and so ask for your team to be presented to you and ask for them to communicate with you you have ascended masters you have angels you have all sorts of spirit animals you have all sorts of beings that are able to tap into you use things that conduct that conduct energy so use things like crystals quartz is your master crystal master conductor just hold it while you're meditating or praying or use a tree that's a conductor to pick an ancient tall tree the tree will conduct the energy shoes off on the grass if you're doing this outside Christ used to go to the high places or go on the water water is another major conductor for spirit remember that spirit walks on water and emotions flow on water too so I'm going to finish with this I just found out that Tony Robbins is into Kangen water I didn't know that yes I'm under a rock I don't really watch anything or listen to anyone else I just listen to the divine I just channel it in what is it about people speaking about manifestation what is the secret that they know about hydrogen living alkaline water that many of you don't know because you have been you've been governed your minds have been governed now to govern means to control it's also very similar in the etymology of the word coven or covenant or coven circle have a think now why Parliament sits in circle and you might see to see start to see what I'm seeing allow yourself to go inward be still and know that I am lives within you we're tapping into an amazing season where crumbs aren't enough we're wealth building we're taking the bread back we're taking the spoils back remember when the Egyptians um, were oppressing in the dark times of Egypt they were press oppressing the Israelites they left with the gold well you now are leaving the governing of your mind the control with the gold which is your consciousness we manifest with a higher state of consciousness some call this the Buddha mind I call it Christ consciousness it's all the same thing did you know Buddha prophesied that Christ was coming that's been scrubbed off all the temple walls the lower dimensional beings don't want you to know these things that you are sovereign that you can change in the blink of an eye according to what you give your attention to so don't let the bread and circuses be enough for you aim higher have a great day